So TI-942 is at its core a telecommunications infrastructure standard for uh, data centers, and then we've built a lot of things on top of that. Uh, so the half of you that are engineers or consultants will find this very useful. It's the U.S. and Canadian national standard for data center telecom infrastructure, but it's really widely used outside the U.S. as well. I've uh, evaluated and worked on designs for many data centers around the world, and TI-942 is used for the design of those data centers. TI-942 is at its core a data center cabling infrastructure standard, and then, as I mentioned, we have a lot of things built on top of that. On the data center cabling portion, we did, uh, provide information regarding the type of cables and connectors that are supported, the cabling lengths, and the topology. So you can see a sample topology of a data center, of a sort of a medium-sized data center on the right-hand side of the slide. And then we have, of course, the spaces that you put the telecom infrastructure in. And so we would have requirements for the data center and the distribution spaces inside the data center, like the main distributor, the intermediate, and the horizontal distributor. The main, the main distribution area would be what some people call the MDF in their data center. Uh, we also have requirements for the computer rooms, the entrance rooms, some of the support spaces. Uh, the type of the requirements that you have for the spaces would include things like the door sizes, the lighting, the temperature, the floor loading requirements, and humidity. We also cover subjects such as cabinets and racks and floor tile cuts. And then, of course, the data centers, we have to cover things like pathways, which are cable trays, conduits, optical fiber duct, and other types of pathways that are supporting the data center. We also just provide in guidelines in the data center standard for how to design redundancy in the cabling and the pathways for various levels of redundancy or, or uh, ratings of the data center. So you can see an example on the right-hand side of the type of redundancy that you might require. So for um, a rated two data center, I would have a, a redundant entrance room for a rated three, three data center, I would have redundant pathways, but only one of each of the horizontal distribution area or the main distribution area, for example. But the two routes would be redundant. And then for a rated four data center, I would have each of the server cabinets, which we call EDAs or equipment distribution areas in the data center standard connected to two horizontal distribution areas or HDAs, and then they would be separated from each other I would, there would be diverse routing um, all the way to diverse MDAs. We have information, a lot of supplemental information in the TI-942 standard. There's a whole section on how to deal with your access providers or carriers, uh, planning the demarcation points with them, uh, coordinating them regarding the type of information they require, like the number of cabinets, how you should be terminating with them, um, the type of cabling that you require for them. We also provide guidance regarding the length of circuits in data centers, such as T1, E3, T3 type circuits in your data center. Uh, we have another section regarding the length of serial console cables in the data center. We have a addendum in the data center standard regarding how to design telecom cabling infrastructure for data center fabrics. This leaf spine architecture, which is now very common, was uh, originally considered to be challenging for data center infrastructure standards. One of the um, switch manufacturers mentioned to um, the, the director of standards in TIA that he didn't think that TI-942 would apply to data center fabrics, so we took that on as a challenge and developed a, an addendum for how you support data center fabrics using structured cabling. And there's several types of data center fabric designs, including fully mesh and this leaf spine architecture. And we provide guidance on how to support the various mesh or fabric designs with structured cabling. We have a section on energy efficiency, which is now very important. And uh, um, Edward will be going into this in much more detail, but we have a 
data center rating system. It's a four-level rating system with uh, one having the lowest level of availability and security and uh, um, the rated four data center having the most availability and security. And these, uh, the criteria for the evaluation in this rating system are divided into four areas, telecommunications, electrical, architectural, and mechanical. We're working currently on an addendum T2 to TI942 addressing the subject of edge data centers, and we hope to finish that work in 2021. We have our first committee ballot going on currently, and we'll be um, voting on resolving that comment, the comments to that uh, addendum in February. 